about them Cowboys? Yeah! Hey guys, what's going on? It's Space Cowboy. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you the preview between the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington Redskins. This game will kick off at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time in Landover, Maryland at FedEx Field. So there's a bit riding on this game for both teams. Obviously, you know, um, the Cowboys coming into this game after a pretty good win against the New York Giants and Washington's coming into this game 0-1 with a devastating loss against the Eagles. So for both teams, uh, they have a lot going for them and you know, I'm not going to be overlooking this game. So we're going to just be looking at um, both of the teams in terms of what they're going through going into this week and what I expect the Cowboys to do to kind of, um, bring the um, momentum from the first game into this game so that we can get to 2-0. and So the first thing we need to talk about, number one, is what's going on with Washington. So, so far, uh, Washington suffered two major blows in the, the loss to Philadelphia. First is Darius Geis. Uh, apparently, he suffered another knee injury. I don't know exactly what it was, but they're saying it was something to do with like a sprained MCL. I'm not sure. I think that was Jonathan Allen they're referring to, but something with his knee. Anyways, he's not going to be playing in this game because he's going to be out for a bit. So that means we're going to see a bunch of Adrian Peterson. So now, Adrian Peterson was really ticked off that he was inactive for the first game of the season. Um, so he's going to try and do something in week two, but... Uh, more importantly, Trent Williams is still out because of his contract dispute. So, um, you know, the, the offensive line of the Redskins had a couple good moments against Philadelphia, but I really do think that the Cowboys defensive line should be fine. I think that we'll be able to get some sacks and turnovers if we do our job. Okay. Um, another thing that's notable, I mentioned Jonathan Allen, I believe, and um, Jonathan Allen he um he had a sprained mcl from what i heard and he's a week to week so he's most likely not going to play in this game as well so that's and he's a key asset on that defensive line for washington okay so that is going to help us in the run game and possibly you know with pass protection as well mainly due to the fact that he's one of those main guys on the interior of the defensive line so we look at that and we can see okay this is what we have to deal with going into this game now again this is not going to be an easy game guys you know no division game is easy obviously you know in my mind i could say listen we should get we should get this w no problem but we have to just be careful you know um we got punched in the face early on versus the giants we responded well and i think that the cowboys are capable of um beating washington I'm not saying, we should win this game no question Another thing I should mention is Case Keenum. Case Keenum looks solid in his debut as a Washington Redskin. The thing is, is that um, kind of once the Eagles started getting rolling, and it was more so the Eagles um, getting back together and regrouping and doing their thing, but more so Washington unable to continue drives. Washington would have won that game if they were able to sustain a couple drives, maybe two or three more drives, resulting in six 14 points, whatever the case may be. But unfortunately, they stalled on offense, and lo and behold, this is what they got, a loss in uh, week one. Um, let's move over to the Cowboys side of things. Now, from what I'm getting at, the biggest storylines coming out of Dallas so far is Dak's contract, um, Zeke's production, and uh, three, ling not lingering issues, like it's a big deal, but three key injuries um, to, or I don't want to say they're injuries because they're really not. Um, so Jeff Heath reportedly had some football bruiser, you know, basically, you know, being sore from the football. So like he was, um, someone that they were talking about. He should be fine. Randall Cobb had like sore ribs. He should be good to go. Zach Martin. A lot of people were talking about him because he got pulled from the game early. I think that that was just a precautionary measure. I heard he's going to be good to go. He'll just be limited in practice, but I'll just keep an eye on those three. But from all what I, you know, from what I saw, we should be good in terms of the injury front. Now, another thing we need to also mention is this defense. Okay, now like I mentioned before, um, the defense itself 
um, needs to generate more sacks and turnovers, 110%. I'm not too hard pressed on yardage, but they really need to tone down on giving all that accumulated yardage to other teams. I know that sounds stupid for me to say, but hear me out, right? The thing is, is as a defense, you're supposed to limit the amount of opportunities opponents have in the red zone, and, the, and they pretty much did that. They were able to put the clamps down when necessary. It was more of the uh, break, uh, bend don't break defense kind of thing. They can't do that every single week, you know. You can't do that against the uh, the Drew Breeses, the Tom Brady's, those guys. You can't afford to give that easy yardage up because guess what then they're in your red zone and you end up having to play a very tough defense when you can just easily get some sacks generate turnovers so then if they're going to be in the red zone it's just garbage time touchdowns which i think the cowboys did a great job at doing um you know putting the game away in the third quarter more or less and so and that wanted me to also talk about this right um, going on the offensive side of the ball, we're kind of seeing, and if this is the direction we're going on offense, I don't have an issue with it as long as it's effective, okay? I'm willing to try anything as long as it results in us winning games and it's effective way of getting us points. So we had, um, the first, since the first time since, uh, 2000, we scored five straight touchdowns, okay? And, you know, on five straight drives, you get the point I'm trying to get at. Um... If the Cowboys' motive, and I'm me and uh, Vach Lombardi talked about this when I called into his show, um, if this is how we're going to win games, basically we rack up points early and then we just give the ball to Zeke and we implement him in the second half or when he needs to be effective, but more so give the running game more of a dose towards the end when we're already up by like 14 points or by up by a considerable margin i'm all cool with that i mean there might be games where zeke's just on a tear and you just hand him the ball and let him do his thing and then we you know we end up just um pulling him and putting tony pollard listen i'm all about winning games and if it means we have to just pass the ball get up early and then we can just run the ball cool if it ends up meaning okay we need to hand the ball off to zeke a couple times because it looks like that's the mismatch we're having uh in this game listen i'll reiterate it whatever we got to do to win and the reason and i'm gonna also point out that taco and tristan hill were inactive for the first week i have a feeling that taco is probably gonna get traded maybe at the deadline or soon it just feels like it's going that way, um, and it sucks because I'd like to see how we can do, but I really do think once we get Robert Quinn back, you know, um, I think that's when the defense is really going to start turning things on, and that I can't wait for. I think that once we start establishing the pass rush a bit more, which we haven't developing pressure, it's just we haven't gotten home with those sacks and things like that, so once we're able to do that, I think we'll be fine, but the biggest thing now is we need to get this W on the road versus Washington. We haven't really had any issues facing Washington unless uh, you, and until you count that a week. Uh, I forget which week that was. Um, it was week seven, week six in 2018 when we lost by um, three points when we could have should have gone to overtime because of the stupid snap infraction. Other than that anomaly, the Cowboys really played the Redskins well. Um, and I think that we should be able to get the job done, okay? We need to get the 2-0. and We need to continue our momentum because, listen, we have tough opponents uh, coming up. Not really tough, but I would say like moderate to tough opponents if you want to put in that caliber after Miami and New Orleans and, and Green Bay. And I'm not looking over any opponent. I'm trying to take this week by week. But as we look at the big picture, you got to mound these wins in your conference and division to help you down the line that can determine if you get a playoff you know a playoff spot where you're seated all that other stuff if we can get two solid division wins not only that we can get you know we, we can, if we can use these three games to easily get in groove so then when we hit those tough opponents we're we're good to go hey man the sky's the limit but we got to take care of washington number one priority at this point in time if we can do i'm not expecting like a 35 point blowout i'm not expecting that i'm expecting a solid win i won't be shocked if washington keeps it close um but hey if dallas can do what they did week one and they can continue being unpredictable on offense and even even that just mismatching and exploiting weaknesses and adjusting we're good to go so 
I think I pretty much covered all the points I wanted to cover. You know, this is going to be a huge division game. I can't say that enough. It's just, you know, we got to be careful with the other teams. We can't rely on other teams. We have to control our own destiny and beat the teams we're supposed to beat. That's what good teams are supposed to do. Dallas is a good team, and if they if they want to become one of those contenders, they got to beat up on the small on the the bad teams and the rebuilding teams, and use that momentum and energy to translate into wins versus good teams. So, with that being said, um, feel free to put in the comment section how you feel about this game coming up. Do you feel worried about this game? Do you think we should be fine? Um, is there any concerns? Anything you're optimistic about seeing? Not only that, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, by the way. And with that being said, I'll be seeing you guys after the game. Alright guys, peace out. Bye-bye.